Good evening, everyone. Buck is on his way for dinner. I'm sorry I didn't make a breakfast video. I actually ran to the supermarket this morning, so I just put the food in his buckets this morning, which I know he ate it all because his buckets were clean. Because I had to go food shopping. I want to start stocking up every week, you know, just in case if, if all the strikes with the ports and stuff, if it really is true and, you know, the stores start going empty, I need to start stocking up on apples, like food for Buck and for myself and my husband. And I went to go take a walk today with my son when I got back from the supermarket and I collected buck big acorns. Look at the size of these acorns. Look how big they are. Well, now they're full of powder, corn powder. But there's a whole bunch in there. There's a whole bunch. And buck is doing peepees right now before he comes up. He's so funny. Yeah, so I put a whole bunch of acorns in there for him because I know he likes the big ones. Around the corner from my house, there's a tree that drops them like on the sidewalk. So every time I go over with my son for a walk, I collect them for Buck. People probably think I'm crazy, the ones I drive by. They're probably like, why does this lady keep bending over? What is she grabbing? <laughs> well, I got Buck's dinner and the rest of his stuff. Yeah, so I'm sorry to, I couldn't make a video because I only had so much time. You know, my husband had to go to work at noon. So we ran to the supermarket this morning. My husband's like, just put the food. Don't even call him because then I know you. You're going to stay there and waste time. So I was like, I know I would. Because <laughs> once I see Buck, it's hard to leave. You know, I wouldn't just be able to call him, make him come here, and then just drop the food and leave. I, I wouldn't do that to him. Because then he'll probably, he'll probably be like, why did she do that? Why did she just leave? So I figured I'd just drop the food in his buckets this morning. And now he's going to go check out his buckets. Come here, baby. I got apples. Look, you want apples? Yes, and I put fresh water or ice. Come here. Nobody's here. He's gonna go check to make sure nobody's here. Once he sees nobody's here, he'll be here. He's already looking his mouth, so I know he's hungry because he's looking his lips. You ready? You want apples? Come on. Come on, big boy. Look, I got apples for you. You want it? Come on. Come on. Come here. <laughs> he's excited because he's wagging his tail and he's looking his lips he's like mmm I got my yummy food waiting for me come on big boy so this is my first time seeing Buck today I did not see him this morning because I didn't have a chance I had to hurry up dump the food in his bucket and then hurry up and run to the grocery store with... so everything was like a rush this morning that's why I was going to make a post. And honestly, guys, I got so, like, crazy busy. Like, you know, running to the supermarket, coming back home, putting things away, getting my baby settled and feeding my baby and putting my dog out. Like, you know, I've been so busy with that that I didn't even get a chance to make a post for you guys to tell you that I wasn't making a breakfast video. But I figure I was like, I'll tell them for dinner time, like, what happened this morning. Non nothing happened, but, you know, that I wasn't able to make a video. Come on, Buck. No one was watching the baby. Let's go. Because my father-in-law, he has like a bad arm, so he can't really pick up my son. If my son starts crying and stuff, he can't hold him because he has like an arm that's like a weak arm, you know? And my son is too heavy for him to like pick up. It's different when my son was a newborn, but now my son is like 16 pounds. So he's almost 20 pounds, you know? It's going to be too much for my father-in-law to pick him up. And then my, my son, he doesn't stand still. So when you pick him up, it's not like he's like a little worm. He wiggles around and stuff. So come on. Yeah. Here, my big boy. Good boy. Want me to feed you by hand or no? There you go. Really? You just gave me kisses, took a couple slices, and now what? You want me to put in your bucket? I think he wants the food in his bucket, guys. <laughs> it's funny because he took the apples and he gave me a few kisses while he was eating the apples. All right, come on. I'll put in your bucket. Come here. All right. He wants the food in his bucket. And I got a lot of acorn butternut squash. I was going to say acorn squash. Butternut squash. And the seeds for him. You ready? Come on. Once I say, are you ready? He wags his tail because he knows what I mean. You ready? See, he wags his tail. You ready? Come on. Bon appetit. Go eat. Go eat, big boy. 
Oh yeah, go away. I knew you wanted the food in your bucket. He wanted the food in this bucket, I guess. He probably enjoys eating out of his bucket, you know? Eating on his own instead of eating from me and then coming eating a little bit from this side and a little bit from this side. He's probably like, just stick all my food in my bucket. That'll make me happy. <laughs> the weather is so gorgeous. I love the fall. I love fall and spring. I think those are my... I don't mind winter. I don't. As long as it's not like so many days that are below zero. Like, you know, when it gets like, cold, that everything ices up. Like last year. Last year, around winter time, I was pregnant. I'm sure a lot of you remember. And remember, like, all here was all iced up. And I had to literally walk so slow, like, to come here to the spot to sit down. I was literally walking, like, one step at a time, but so slow because I didn't want to fall because, you know, I was, like, six months pregnant at that time. So I said, oh, my God, like, I got to be careful. That time my husband was getting so mad because he wanted to feed Buck. He's like, let me just feed Buck so you don't fall. And I was like, no, I'm going to go feed him. I want to see him. I was like, because eventually this baby's going to come out. And then it's going to be like less time with me spending with Buck. So I was like, no, I'm going. So no matter what, in the winter, when it snowed, rain, whatever it did, I still came out here. Even when I was pregnant. Even when I was like almost eight, seven months, literally. Eight months, like I came out here and fed him. The only time I couldn't feed him that I wasn't physically able to was right after my son was born that I had a C-section. Then I had to stay home and recover for like a week. So for like five days straight, not even a week, five days straight, my husband fed him. And then by the sixth day, I kept telling my husband, I was like, I miss him. I want to go see him. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go feed him. And I remember that time I pushed myself and walked here. I took my time. But he was so excited to see me and I was so excited to see him. Yep. Yeah, so I don't know how bad it's going to be. I don't usually like talking about things that are on the news on here. Because, you know, I'm sure all of you just come here to just relax and chill, you know, and just watch my videos. So I don't want to talk about, like, news stuff. But it's kind of making me worry, like, with that whole strike thing. Like, the way they're saying, like, supermarkets eventually going to go empty the shelves. And they're not going to get restocked for, like, two, three weeks. And I was like, oh, gosh. Like, damn. Like, this is going to suck. So, I hope it doesn't get as bad as they're saying, you know? I hope not. But, I'm going to stay calm. I'm going to keep, every week, go shopping until... I don't find what I'm looking for, and then I'll stop for a while. So I'm gonna stock up on my meats, chickens, and apples for Buck, and butternut squash, and all that good stuff, you know, to make dinner for myself and for Buck's breakfast and dinner. Gotta stock up on peanuts tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow, you hear me? The next time I go, I keep thinking like tomorrow's Saturday because my husband wants to shoot back to the supermarket on Saturday because I picked up like half of the things today. I didn't grab like my full, full on like shopping the way I normally do it on a Saturday because I didn't want to rush. I don't like to be rushed, you know, and my husband had to go to work. So there was only so much time to play with. So I told my husband, I was like, you know what, we'll do half today and half Saturday. <laughs> That's what I did. But anyways, besides all that, the weather is gorgeous. I love this fall feeling. It's like, ah, so nice. The leaves are starting to fall. What are you getting scared of? I don't know why he got scared like that. I don't see nothing. There's nothing over here. Why are you scared? I don't know why he's scared. Buck, you left this. You left all his goodies. Why is he scared? I don't know why he's scared like that. Nobody's outside. My father-in-law is inside the house. Nobody's outside. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Go eat your corn. You're okay. He's listening to me because his ears are moving. You're okay, baby. Go eat your corn, Buck. It's okay, I promise. I know there was a lot of people like an hour ago to two hours ago because I heard it from my window. That's how loud it was. Like everybody. It sounded like my neighbors, my father-in-law. He was blowing leaves from the yard. My neighbors, they were doing all their properties. So it was pretty noisy here like an hour ago to two hours ago straight. Like two hours straight. There was like, it, it was, everybody was like blowing leaves. So unless he's, he got like, you know, he's picking up the sense of that. But nobody's outside. I don't know why he's like getting scared. It's okay, baby. You're okay. Where are you corn? It's okay, Buck. You want me to sit back down? Maybe that'll make him comfortable if I sit down. Because I'm standing up. And he's worried, thinking like, is she going to leave me or something? 
I'm just gonna chill over here now. Now I'm back at the spot. I'm back like here. Let's see what he does. He comes back here. Yeah, I don't know what he's worried about. Nobody's outside. There's literally nobody outside. Go eat your corn. It's okay, Buck. Oh, I almost got the hiccup. <laughs> He'll finish his food. He'll come back. He's just standing there right now, trying to make sure that nobody's around. Once he figures out that nobody's around, he'll go back to his bucket. But it was noisy here, like about an hour to two hours ago. Literally, I heard people like blowing leaves. Like I heard the blowers, the leaf blowers, from like two o'clock all the way to like 3.30. And now it's like four, it's four o'clock now. So that's why I said for two hours straight, I heard people doing leaves and stuff. So that's probably why he was like nervous my next door neighbors that live there were blown leaves the ones that lived on the other side were blown leaves literally everybody yeah something is up because he's acting very right now like he's like warning me like trying to tell me like something is up there's nothing it's okay it's okay buck go eat your corn baby go eat your corn did no no come here i wonder if my father-in-law was walking over here he's picking up a scent like from here i know my husband didn't come here my husband barely touches anything from the spot because i always tell my husband keep your scents keep your touches don't touch anything from like bucks buckets or anything so i don't know why he's acting like that unless the acorns i was just thinking about that imagine the acorns that i picked up from you know around the block like when i went on the walk with my son like they have scents on them like you know and that's why he's acting like that, but no. He's smelling everything. I know my father-in-law, nobody touches the buckets ever. Because they always tell me, like, there's no need for them to touch the buckets. So I don't know why he was acting like that. But now he's eating again. It's okay, baby. You're okay. Good boy. Good boy, Buck. I told you, once he figures out that nobody's outside, there's nothing to be scared of, he'll come back and eat. That's what he always does. But he was about to stomp his feet like he was giving me a heads up about something. Usually when deer is, if they look at a certain direction and they start stomping their front legs, like one of them, that's usually they're giving other deers warnings. Now, because I'm his best friend, he probably looks at me like a deer. <laughs> he was giving me the, the warning, like, mom, like something is up. But, like I said, I don't see nobody. I don't hear nobody. So nobody's outside that any of us have to worry about. You're okay, big boy. I'm happy to see that now he's back to Eden. Good. Because if he would have left, that would have made me worry. Like, what happened? Like, what's wrong with... Like, why is he... What is he worried about? But he's fine. He is fine. He just needed a couple of minutes to think and to look around. Right now, I actually see a few little mosquitoes out, but they're not biting me, so. Because it's very cool out, and at night, it actually gets a little chilly. Not like freezing cold. It doesn't get freezing cold, but late, late at night and early mornings, it gets chill, like a chill in the air. But like I said, it's not freezing cold. Like, you could come out with a sweater and not a jacket, and you'll be fine. Like, right now, I'm wearing a light sweater, and I'm fine. I'm comfortable. I probably could even came out with a short sleeve shirt. I would have been comfortable. Yeah, now he's eating. I wonder if he's gonna eat the acorns I got for him. I guess I'll find out tomorrow morning if I see them in a the bucket or not. Cause I don't want to bother him while he's eating. All right, everyone. I've been out here almost 15 minutes. I gotta get my butt back inside. So I'm gonna get going. After this video, I'll probably stay here another like two more minutes with him. And then I'm gonna go inside to go hang out with my son and go feed my son some baby food. Cause I fed my dog already, which is good. I got that over with. Just gotta feed my son and myself. <laughs> so I will be back tomorrow morning. I know this morning was a little like, it was unexpected that I didn't do a video, but tomorrow morning I will be making my daily videos like morning and evening but me and buck we both will be back tomorrow morning with another video i hope everybody has a great evening and a good night stay safe 
and me and this big boy he's so cute we will be back tomorrow all right everyone ciao for now